Lisa Jenny's kitchen and we're gonna continue our cookies trick just today just that's it just one time we're gonna have two desserts in a row because for us this is the season the cookie time and I forgot to wear the cool apron last time very Santa Claus -y. Eric has had it for so many years I have no idea where it came from or maybe we bought it last year I have no idea it's awesome anyway we're gonna have three ingredients puff pastry have the packaging here found in the local grocery store sugar and cinnamon and guess what cinnamon is optional you can make a two ingredient cookie well I'm gonna make it three so let's start unrolling the dough and making the easiest cookies in the world so this is my first time working with this particular brand of a dough so let's see what it does I even got it all in peeling just in case oh okay has a little bit of like a parchment wax papery thing underneath so we're gonna just unroll it it's just one sheet of puff pastry i'm gonna i don't even need the um rolling pin we're just gonna stretch it out just a little bit if you want to make it thinner you can i'm just gonna give it a little good old massage thing this thing is very smart this little um wax paper it'll make our rolling process so much easier Okay, so now ingredient number one is ready. Whoops, spoon. I have just regular white sugar in my fancy sugar bowl. I'm just gonna sprinkle it around. And what I'm gonna do is actually kind of massage it in, make sure it's all spread out. Don't forget to wash your hands first. I did. All right. So you just want just as much sugar to cover it, for the most part, all of it. You can stop here, but we're gonna go a little, one more step forward and we're gonna put a little ground cinnamon. Just a sprinkle. It's probably no more than a teaspoon. And I probably used up about a couple tablespoons of sugar here. This is so simple. So now you can have a little choice. You can roll it this way, this way, or you can roll this way together so you can end up with an elephant ear cookie. We're just gonna go circle, regular circle, and hope for the best. This wax paper is really helping it. Usually when I have a pastry, it doesn't have it, and I end up getting stuck to the cardboard. But that's when you also can use a glass uh, cutting board if you have one. Okay, so we're just rolling the cookies, rolling, rolling, kind of pinching, rolling, so it's kind of tightish. Rolling, rolling. Look at that beauty! It's just going. All right. Our next step, we're gonna take a sharp knife. They do show online that you should probably use a tooth floss. I've tried it, it doesn't work for me. So I use a really sharp knife. And I'm just gonna cut circles. And they're gonna be a little smooshed, and that's okay. We're gonna, oh, I'm gonna show you. Unsmoosh them on a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna continue slicing them, and I'll come back to you, and we're gonna start arranging. Actually, I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet, and I'll show you one more little trick to make them extra delicious special. Look at these beauties. They're so precious. So my next little bit of a trick is I'm gonna take a teeny bit of sugar and sprinkle it on top of each cookie. This is a little bit of a tedious work, but it's gonna be so much worth it. And by the way, the oven's at 350. And I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but we are gonna time it. And the thing is, not only is the cookie going to cook, that little bit of sugar here is going to caramelize and make this little just patches of burnt delicious sugar, just like the candy we used to have in Russia. It's going to give you a little bit of a crisp and more of a sugarness. And if you see some similar recipes, which I have before, 
and sometimes people put butter on top of the puff pastry you don't have to do that puff pastry i'm not sure if you know how it's made but really it's just a dough you brush butter you knead it you brush butter you knead it there's a lot of butter in it there's a lot of calories in it already so it doesn't need any extra butter believe me it's not gonna dry out it's gonna be amazing it's gonna have a little bit of crunch but it's gonna be pleasant and not not like the biscotti were so this is it oven's ready and hot 350 we're going in we're timing it and then we're gonna come back and they're gonna be nice and delicious crispy and soft sweet and cinnamony and we are going to have the most delicious oh taste test so the cookies took 16 minutes in my oven at 350 so i say after 10 minutes you should check on them they look gorgeous. We took them out a few minutes ago, so I'll have to burn my mouth. I'm gonna pick one. Look at this beauty. And you can see this caramelized sugar here. It's so beautiful. There it goes. Mmm. It's still soft in the middle, but it's not undercooked. It's just warm and pleasant and crispy. And the bottom is crispy from the sugar. You can taste the cinnamon. It's flaky, it's buttery, it's delicious, it's amazing. This is one of the simple, simplest Christmas cookies you have ever heard of, you have ever made. This is so easy. You can take it down to two ingredients, just sugar and puff pastry. You can make different shapes. You can add other spices to it. You can put even a little bit of a nut to it. This is just so good. I'm Jenya, this is Jenya's Kitchen, and this is my take on the puff pastry cookies.